John says, two weeks ago, I ran into a snafu working on a 115-page legal document, which suddenly started to pause each time I made a text entry or deleted text. Been there, John. Uh, during which time the blue circle, the halo, would swirl at the center of the screen for a minimum of five minutes. Ooh. Uh, during the swirling time frame, all actions in any office program would stop. If I press the escape key or control break key, the screen would become transparent white. Once the pause ended, as soon as I resumed word processing, the same thing would occur again and again and again. Prior to this happening, it appeared that there was an update to Office 365. What? An update caused a problem in the user experience? Uh, where, for example, the toolbar now dropped a window to let me know that I was editing the document or reviewing the document. After all this, Word finally errors out telling me, we're sorry, but Word has run into an error that is preventing it from working correctly. Word will need to be closed as a result. Would you like us to repair now, which doesn't seem to help? Well, I have three <laughs> things that could be happening here in this one. Two, you know, the fact that it's a long question. Um, the first thing is you probably have autosave turned on and autosave, it happens in the background. That's where it stops and saves and the blue halo starts. If you are synchronizing that to Microsoft 365, whether it's it, it's on your in your documents library, so that's automatically syncing or it's one that you're purposely syncing from OneDrive or SharePoint, now you've got autosave and then it's trying to save to the cloud at the same time. So the, the autosave is great, but if it's happening too frequently on these large documents, depending on what's in there, I'm assuming if it's a 115 page legal document, there may be pictures. If those pictures are huge, you know, they, people it take gets pictures. bloated with edits anyway. So yeah, a lot of things that could change that. And especially if you're swapping out or editing images and taking them out, putting them back in can blow yeah. it out the size of it. Yeah. And you're tracking changes on top of that, which which happens a lot. You've got a lot of features happening all at once. It's trying to save it all into that XML layer that's be kind of inside the file now. And it has to sync it back to wherever it's saving. So I think it's either auto save, too many features turned on, um, and then the network connection could be causing that delay and why it's saving. Um, the other one that I was thinking about as you read more into that is that um, the if it, there's been an update made, sometimes it's better just to uninstall the desktop versions and reinstall them with it, a clean updated version because it, if you've had it there for a while and it's now got all these little incremental updates, I think maybe all the pieces didn't fall into place when, during the updates. So it might be better just to uninstall and reinstall and see if it still happens. Well, can I add one other thing? Because this sounds very similar to one other potential. Um, depends on the device, but I know with my had my old Surface Pro and it would run into these issues where it just seemed to freeze and lock up. It was because I had was hitting up against my upper storage limit for the, for the device itself. I was doing things locally, and uh, um, uh, you know just the with the the old Surface Pro, not a lot of space there in the first place with the apps that I had running and the, the programs installed. But it this almost it, it it mirrors this this experience by not having space. So even though it looks like you've got enough room and your SSD. Uh, if you know it allocates a certain amount of space to be able to work and to do the backups and so that's something that you can look at as well is very quickly go into your file explorer look at um, how much space there you can do a disk cleanup and free up some space delete out your temporary files and it should perform better after that so that's that's another thing that you can try while you're waiting for you know, the network team to respond, your IT team for uh, other help. But, you know, it, it it sounds a lot like this issue as well. Yeah, I've, I've had the same problem. Too many profiles on my computer loaded up my hard drive. And if you're syncing a lot against so that sync issue, don't forget, you've got a terabyte of space in your OneDrive. And then however much you have in your SharePoint, if you're syncing all that to your hard drive, guaranteed, I've, I think I've only, when I've asked this question, had one person ever tell me they had a terabyte of space on their hard drive. The, it, you know, most Because it was a are, new device. 
Yeah. Well, and he was <laughs> a new account. Was, well, and he was a um, cat. He he specialized in CAD drawings, which are massive. Mm. So he needed that for. He was an yeah. engineer. He's a, my my favorite engine nerds. You know they uh, they need all that disk space. But yeah, if you're sinking, if it's sinking, it's gonna cause an issue for sure. But um, and I've had like I said, same problem with you. Too much stuff. Clean it out. ROT redundant, outdated, trash. Get rid of it. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a sound effect that I need to add to my soundboard is Bill Murray. Um, what about Bob? Which I need, I need. <laughs> <laughs> I must have it all. Yeah. I was talking to another new engineer last week and we were looking at migrating his stuff and he's, it costs them per, for their size. And he goes, I need all of it. And he's been an engineer for 30 years. Really? What did you build 30 years ago? That's actually still in play. I want to know what that technology looks like. I, I, it just made me think of, we were talking earlier about uh, exchange hoarders. I need those emails from 1997. I need to have that accessible. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy.